And when it comes to humor, that that you know softens a lot of this kind of uh, uncomfortability. That is banned. That is censored. That is being attacked. And we see Dave Chappelle being, you know, called anti-Semitic, which is, I, I think, absolutely absurd and crazy when his comments were hitting at everyone and making people laugh about something that people are taking way too seriously and creating more of a divide in our society, which I think is being done deliberately by central controllers, because the more that we could fight each other, the less we're actually looking at the true oppressors, the true multinational corporations, the true big bankers, the true people in power that are screwing us over and creating this larger economic havoc that we're having to deal with and really screwing everyone over. I, I don't know if it's that. I think it's probably more that that conflict exists naturally. I think people are very tribalistic, and I think that they do have an incentive to kind of stoke the flames of that. But uh, this is sort of like, I think, the record of history. And it is interesting how any identity, like we talked about religion, that you have that would separate you from the state, whether it's a religious identity, a cultural identity, national identity, anything like that has been dissuaded and basically erased. You're not allowed to have that. And so when you're looking for an identity now in this country, you have like the state approved identities, you know? you can be like a for example and think about like since the beginning of time humans have made flags to define themselves and now we have the pride flag and then we have all the other flags like that that is just so telling to where young people are going nowadays to where they want to feel like they can be proud of their identity be proud of something and so they have to wave the pride flag which now as i'm sure we'll get into on the national stage is even more representative of american values and american power than the actual american flag because when you see the american flag now flying at embassies uh, in saudi arabia or whatever you don't think of white picket fences and apple pie, you think of gay people. You think of things like that because that is what America wants to promote on the world stage. Oh, I disagree. I think of uh, soldiers, like if, like if Saudi Arabia specifically, I think of oil. U.S. Yeah. soldiers guarding oil fields and poppy fields in Afghanistan. I think of Yemen but, and the humanitarian crisis that's still continuing right there. That's but, causing millions of people to die. But the reason I bring that up is because America, U.S. embassies were flying the pride flag. Yes. And so, like, they're just outright, not in Saudi Arabia, obviously. But I do just think like it, the corporations 